of Zooms. So excited to be here, excited to meet you guys, and uh, ready to get going. Shane, what have you seen so far from Jalen Hurts in the first few days? Of you know what? I've been really impressed with him. I know we all know this about him. This guy loves football. Like, he loves football, and he's a tireless worker, and he wants to be the best player he can be. But just watching him in practice, the place he makes, as we know, he has big scrambling ability. But the way he throws the deep ball, like he hit Devontae the other day down here on this field uh, for a big deep ball, and then he hit Zach the other day down the sideline too. So to be able to throw the deep ball and hit guys in stride, that's an 80-yard touchdown instead of a 60-yard gain. Um, so really impressed by the way he throws the deep ball right now. What did you see from Zach as far as his engagement with the playbook and engagement with you guys and the staff and on the field? Yeah, Zach's a pro. I mean, this guy's been a Pro Bowl player, um, really intelligent. Um, he came right in and he's been rolling. So it's it's been good to see. Nick is new to Philadelphia. What should Philadelphia fans that watch him coach and, and approach football, what should they expect? Just the love of the game. Like, he has so much passion for the game. And I know this city has passion, and he's going to bring that for this city. So really excited about that. Shane, were you curious to see um, what it was, what he would be like as him as the head man, and uh, has it kind of matched your expectation? Where yeah, it, it, he's been awesome. You know what? He, he's been preparing for this moment. Obviously, when we were younger coaches, you know, a couple years ago, um, we are still young coaches. But uh, you know, just him getting this opportunity and the way he's taken it over and the way he runs the team meetings have been very impressive. Um, he's done a very nice job. Excited for him. Shane, what what have you seen from Devonte Smith early? in this camp, especially because you guys started with so much red zone in those yeah. close quarters and things like that. Yeah, the thing about Devontae, his, his releases off the line of scrimmage for a young player are super impressive. Like, it's rare to see the way he gets off the line of scrimmage. His first step and his jab to create that separation, I mean, that's the biggest thing I've seen from him, along with his speed and his route running ability. It's been very impressive. At this point in camp, how much of the offense is now is catered to Dallin? you have specific plays that are designed for him, or is it just you putting in yeah, the we have a system. We have, we have a system that we're installing right now, and we're still going through that process. And obviously, we're still installing plays. I mean, we're going in, we've had four days of practice. So we're, we're still, still working through that right now, installing our offense and uh, seeing what he does well so we can run those plays on Sunday. You look at the offense of what you have, uh, what you're trying to install here and what you're trying to build here. Uh, is there enough room in there for, let's say, if Jalen, if you want a guy that uh, an athletic player like Jalen, something you see with the Ravens, what they've done with uh, Lamar Jackson. Is there enough in that offense to maybe to, to cater to that that type of quarterback? Yeah, yeah. We have we, what we're going to try to do whatever we can to put our players in the best position to make plays. So we're going to cater the system to what our players do best. I said that in the spring, and I think that's the biggest thing: is what do I got, what do I got, what do our guys do best, and let's put them in position to make plays. As you follow up to that, your personal exposure has mostly been the Rivers and then, then obviously last year with Herbert. Um, what's the adjustment for you when you go from a quarterback of that style to a quarterback like Jim? Yeah, I think you got you got to just continue to study certain things around the leagues, what guys do well with those guys that can move, and we're doing that right now, and he's done a nice job. What's your philosophy on sort of using Jalen to kind of even up the math as part of the run game versus – not having him take those hits, you know, different coaches seem to have different philosophies. Yeah, no question. We got to protect the quarterback. I mean, obviously, his running ability is going to be big um, and when he can run the football, but we got to protect the quarterback too at the same time because we know if you take a lot of hits in this league, it's 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 hard it's hard to maintain your health. So uh, we got to protect him at the same time. So we've seen a lot of speed twenty one out here. What do yeah. you like about that package, and how can Jalen Hurts help that package be effective? Yeah, I think with all our packages right now, I mean, all our personnel groups, we're in just we're installing our offense right now. So we're finding out what these guys do well. Twenty one stuff, whatever, 12, 11, 4 wide, all that stuff. We want to look at all that and see what our guys do best. So when it comes to Sunday, we put them in the best position possible. Look at the left tackle competition. What, what are you seeing from both Andre and, and Jordan so far? I, I love both these guys' competitive nature. I mean, Coach Priest at all time is compete, 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 and these guys are doing that. I mean, everyone's competing right now, but love where, where both of those guys are at right now, and Coach Stout's doing a heck of a job coaching those guys. And continue kind of rotating them, like with the ones each day. Yeah, we rotate those guys, and everyone's rotating. Everyone's everyone's trying to win a job right now. I mean, there's it's all about competition here. That's what we're trying to create, and that's what we're doing. It seems like the defense has been a little ahead of the offense the first week. Is that just kind of par for the course at this point in camp? Or yeah, I think, I think when you start camp early and then you're in the red zone, obviously the windows are really tight down there, you know what I mean? So I, I think we're, we're continuing to grow, and the defense has been doing a nice job. And then when, you, when, when you're when going against the defense right on Sundays, you're scouting those guys, right? 
right? Right now, we're installing our system right now. And as we get going right, we'll continue to grow as an offense and continue to get better. Can you kind of take us into that player's day off from a coach's perspective? What do you guys do when you hit that pause button? Yeah, practice that's a great time? question. So what we did is really we went through and just we just kind of cleaned up some of the stuff from the week, right? Continue to talk uh, through things, and then obviously you you work on stuff down the road in the future and stuff, and continue to scout yourself and just clean up some things that you got to get cleaned up is what we did. Shane, everyone's excited about Devontae, but how much of a factor can Jalen Rager be? He, he can be. He's a speed guy. Um, I'm excited about Jalen. I'm excited about the whole group, to be honest. Uh, th these guys are very, very talented, so uh, we got to get everyone rolling and on the same page, and we're excited about it. How about Travis Fogel? I'm sure you kind of watched. He had an unusual season last year because he had that great stretch and then not much else. Were you curious to see what he would bring and what have you seen so far? Yeah, he's been he's been, he's been been good. He's been really good. Uh, that big body receiver, um, you know, anytime you get that big body receiver out there wide, I mean, that helps you, right? Those one-on-one -on -one matchups, right, to go up and get it. Uh, so that's what he brings, and we're continuing to, uh, to, to evaluate everybody and go from there. Shay, what's been your impression of the depth of running back behind Miles? Uh, do you have a bunch of guys who seem to be making, uh, making plays? Yeah, I, you know, Boston's been doing a nice job. Kenny Gainwell, carry on, all those guys. Uh, all those guys are competing, right? Now, we're trying to give everyone an opportunity, right? We're giving everyone. So we're splitting the reps up. Jamal's doing a hell of a job splitting those reps up with those guys, and we're seeing what they do best. A lot of guys were commenting on the instant chemistry between Devontae and Jalen. Have you noticed that as well? And does it make things a little easier? Yeah, no, it does. When those guys have played together, you can see when they have those conversations, just even in the spring, those side conversations, us hearing them talk. Obviously, when they, they, they've been together, you can see it. And so that, that's been fun to see. And um, Nick described the uh, QB meeting room as he said he was in there, you're in there, obviously Brian Johnson's in there. Yeah. Is it typical for you to have the head coach in there for all those meetings? Yeah, if it's an offensive head coach, absolutely. Um, obviously, his offense, my offense, it's very similar. The system, we've been in the same system verbiage-wise. Um, so it's always good to have the head coach in there and everyone in there commun communicating and being on the same page. Because I think that's the biggest thing is communication and the preparation part of it. Because in this league, as we know, there's so much parity that the separation's in the preparation. If you don't prepare well, right? You're not going to win on Sundays. That's the difference, I think, in this league is we got to have this, the preparation part of it, and everyone's got to be on the same page. Where did the terminology come from? We've kind of built it. It's It's been like the route concepts and all that stuff has been, but then Nick and myself, when he was in Indy and I was and I took over as the coordinator, uh, we kind of talked, too, when we were away from each other, like, hey, what are you calling this now? Let's make this all systematic, and he's done a heck of a job, so we kind of messed that. So when I came over from L.A., right, It's it's been the same verbiage. There's tweaks here and there, but very similar. You have had a lot of uh, really good receiving backs in your career, as yeah. Austin Eckler, Naheem Hines. Do you feel like you have that same sort of talent here? I, I do. I do. I think I think in our offense, obviously the back is a big part of it, right? We're, we scheme up stuff for the backs, but also, right, the backs do catch a lot of balls, and I think a lot of those happen organically. It's kind of like, hey, do I have this ball down the field? No, I'm throwing it to the tailback for a 10-yard gain. And so I, I think that's a big part of our, what do we want to do? Last one, please. All right, going back to Travis Holcomb, last year, of course, before you were here, dominant for a month and otherwise not much of a factor. How do you tap into when he was at his best getting him in that zone? Yeah, I think I think it's just repetition, repetition, and continue to and to talk to him about what we want to get done from a fundamental and a technique standpoint. And Coach Sirianni does a heck of a job, and Aaron Moorhead do a heck of a job with the route detail and how we want to get things done. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, guys.